guys. Now, we're back. Over here on the shop side, got the belt. There's John Deere, moved out of the way, and there's Kudzu, and oh, what the hell is that? Kudzu was so nervous, he piddled in the shop. Bad Kudzu. We'll do some shout outs to everybody, people that have subscribed, and a bunch of good guys. Sulphur City Designs, you know them. For all your off-road mower mudding, modding, and stickage needs, guys. Custom work, too. Southern Off-Road Mowers on Facebook. We just hit 1,600 members. That is freaking crazy. Go big. H Smallwood 40. He sent me a message earlier this morning and said on uh, American Power Sports website, that is a go-karting website, if you go to it and take a look, they specifically sell a tool for grooving or cutting the treads on your tires. Not too shabby. Go to it and take a look. I'll post, uh, I'll post the site up later. Bill and Peggy Memphis, guys, thank you for your kind words. I really appreciate it. And also, thank you for subscribing uh, to my channel. Redneck Day, thanks, man. Mud Man, there's a space in the middle there. Snala Farborn Gravana, thanks for subscribing. Ultimate Chaos and Skyro Boss, thanks for subscribing, guys. Now, we're going to put the belt on this thing when it gets through peeing. Now we're back. You've seen me take off a belt on Cudson before, so I won't bore you with the details of this one. But in case you want to know, it's a half inch, two bolts on the other side of the steering column. You take that out, you pull it up, and then you just follow your pulleys and uh, pop them off of it. This is the pulley that I took off. This is the, exactly the way it was inside the grooves. It had flipped around backwards in addition to being a little too tight it had flipped around backwards and so that was what was causing all the problem the sticking um, well they're just not made to run in an inverted V uh, on the pulley so that's what it was there might be a little bit of life left in this belt for one project it's Kevlar you know who knows there's the new belt And can't do it one-handed, but it's two inches longer. So I think that's what I need. If not, I'll go get another one. More to come, guys. I think it's about ready for a frame-off redo of this thing, or just get rid of it completely. New belt and the different size pulleys with the way... I have the uh, double clutch setup doesn't give me much of any room. So what I am thinking of doing is tearing it completely apart. I put in a uh, got a 92 inch belt, a little bit longer. That's okay. I want it a little bit longer. It's going to put in another uh, another roller, and I did, and it just doesn't do it. And I can't get it to adjust where I want because of the way everything is set up. So I am thinking about putting this guy in a corner somewhere until I'm not as annoyed and uh, get it squared away. The chugging, I got that taken care of. The uh, one of the uh, plugs had fouled out, and I fixed that. That was no biggie, of course. I mean, we got that squared away. So it cranks, and it runs really good, and it's got all the other stuff on it. But the only place I could really put that bearing, and it's a, a roller, and it screams like the devil. At an idle, in neutral, and in gear, and in reverse. So, it just sucks, and if it's gonna be like that, I'm not gonna have it. So, I'm gonna go in the house, I'm gonna have dinner, I'm gonna rethink all this. We'll try it again. Anyway, hey, we tried. Uh, and I thought the rollers might be something a little different, and it was, and it's a really good idea. But if you can't lube them, they'll scream like hell. So, I'm not gonna do that again. I'll just stick with pulleys. And I had the roller, I don't know if you can see it, 
it is kind of, well you can kind of see the reflection of it right there um, but not gonna fiddle with that thought it would work because it was rubbing there on the uh, uh, steering column on one side and then it was rubbing on the bottom on my double clutch pulley but we will uh, we will revisit all this and like I said I got time I got the John Deere to uh, get squared up and we will see what we can do with this anyway now I'm going in the house y'all gonna make some mayhem guys I really appreciate everything you do who knows we may make a boat anchor I think I've come up with a solution to the problem. Still going to have to pull the uh, uh, the pan off, the floor pan, and the console off, so I can get to where everything where I need to do it. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, my uh, my double pulley, double clutch setup has uh, three inch pulleys. What I'm going to do is offset them and put four inch pulleys. That will give it more pull, uh, less slip and that will let, allow me to uh, do what I need to do with a 92 inch belt because the 90 is too short and 92 is too long and there's no more room for any other pulley so I think that will take care of it hopefully so now I really am going in the house before we go we might as well do a garden update and show you uh, these are all red onions gotta weed them sweet peppers cherry tomatoes chives that are doing good and these going down this fence to that first post are tomatoes and they're all doing well gone ahead and uh, pluck the first three stems off, or first three branches off the side uh, just to help them produce and then this row going down here is tomatoes as well I think we have 36 tomato plants these are all beans and we're probably going to put in another row of beans this is all uh, okra and these are all grown from seed that I've saved last year these are last year's seeds as well uh, these we bought and the pepper plants and the cucumbers and squash we bought the chives I've had for three years now two or three years growing and they're doing really good the those are uh, all hot peppers to make my pepper sauces that we're gonna can and we'll do videos of them as well and these down this wall and around the side are all cucumbers. We lost one uh, cucumber plant. That's not too bad. These are all squash. And I got some carrots. It looks like my carrots did not come up over here. And we're going to section off a couple of more little areas. I got a lot more room. And we'll put some more stuff out. This is not including my herb garden as well the legal kind come on now guys um but it all looks really good everything is doing famously y'all gonna make some money